Now, let's start at the shallow end of the pond, pop culture, if you will. The Marvel Studios, which have been pumping out movies for years, like Iron Man and Captain America and the Avengers, well, those used to make billions of dollars, each and every one of them. Well, the latest version is all women, all diversity, and it's the least successful opening in the franchise history. What does this tell us about our culture? Well, I think it tells us something interesting about the stories that are the are the ideas of our time, meaning Marvel stories and Star Wars, these Lord of the Rings, all of these things that have now been repurposed and repackaged a hundred times over. And of course, they've added the wokeism in and they try to make Ghostbusters for women and all of these things. And even Disney themselves, they said they were gonna make, uh, Marvel was gonna be more for boys and Star Wars was gonna be for girls. I mean, these are, these are artificial ideas that they are putting on children related to gender and then, of course, the stories become all muddled. What you want out of a good story is a deep truth to be told. So if you look at, you know, for example, I, they were a little behind our time in terms of age, but the Harry Potter books, the stories, the archetype, the, the hero's journey is, is quite good. Uh, you don't have to be a seven-year-old to fully appreciate it. What's unfortunately happened with the Marvel movies is they've pushed all the wokeism in. They've pushed mostly gender stuff, but they've done a little bit of the race stuff as well. And then people over time, they're just like, oh, this isn't why I'm going to, to the movies. I'm here to be entertained, and I love the big explosions, not to be, you know, quote unquote, taught a lesson. So I'm not surprised by this at all. I would also say that Marvel, which largely has done a much, much better job than DC when it comes to making superhero movies, that when they got to Avengers Endgame, which was the, the last Avengers movie, what, about seven years ago now, they sort of, it sort of felt like they had wrapped the whole thing up and everything that they've done subsequently has just been a, a lesser version of that. So I think they're also just, they're in a situation where they've made 30 plus or maybe even 40 plus of these movies and they're just running out of ideas.